Okay, I give up. It's a plesiosaur and a damn fine specimen. A fine specimen indeed, but you're a few thousand years out. It is, in fact, an ichthyosaur. Oh, don't be silly. The cheek holes at the top of the skull are as plain as day. Damaged specimen, I'm afraid. If you had bothered to look closer, you'd have seen the nares at the base of the beak. Plain as your bald pate. I'm going to really enjoy seeing that man made a fool of. Gentlemen, your attention over here, please. Feast your eyes on some of the finest shooting metal you'll ever have the honor to hold. Well, go ahead. See what suits you. Ah, oh, she's a beaut, isn't she? A bland's 577 Axide Express. I took down a white rhino with it from 10 paces. Another second, he would have added me to his collection. What looks good to you, Doctor? Well, none of them, really. Suit yourself. Well, we're assembled in outfit, and we still haven't heard from our uh, mysterious benefactor. And maybe it was a momentary flash of enthusiasm she's since reconsidered. Perhaps uh, we've actually seen the last of her. I'm delighted to prove you wrong, Dr. Sunfly. Good evening, gentlemen. Madam Crew, please come in. Lovely collection of dead things you have here, Challenger. Hyperlosaurus egg, pterosaur. Even an ichthyosaur. You know your reptiles, man. Been around a few. My main interest, Professor, is geology. But I do have more than a passing interest in ancient artifacts. Well, I promise you, madam, we will bring back more than enough samples to make it your primary interest. Whatever I see will still be in its native habitat. You're not proposing that you go on the expedition? I'm stating it. You have a problem? The Amazon River. There's no place for a lady. I promise I'll leave my dresses at home. Madam Crew, welcome to the party. Gentlemen and distinguished lady. The success of our mission. To adventure. To discovery. To survival. To the lost world. 